Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today we are talking everything eyeshadow palettes. If you like eyeshadow palettes then make sure you are subscribed before leaving today because that is mainly what I focus here on my channel. Take a shot of water every time I say eyeshadow palette. Good lord. So this is the eyeshadow palette tag of 5,000. I've been seeing this float around here. I saw Heather Austin's video and I was like, okay, that sounds like fun. I wanted to film it. So let's just get into it. Let's see. The first question is, what palette did you wear on a special occasion? And I wore these two for my gender reveal. These are from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Belle of the Ball. And this is the Diamond of the First Water. This was a collaboration that she did with Bridgerton and this was the first go around how pretty and then the second one right here which this one tends to be my favorite just because this one has a little bit more versatility but they're kind of similar y'all know what's been going on with that but yeah those are very special to me and every time I look at them I think about that so question number two a palette you love but it is repetitive um yeah I'll it's got to be this one. This is from Bella Beauté Bar. This is the Smoky Glam Palette. Repetitive, but beautiful nonetheless. So, yeah, as you can see, it's huge. This, this could probably be like a 15 pan or something like that, but it's beautiful. The quality is amazing, but it is a little repetitive with those grays, I will say. Now, if the greens in here were more saturated, like with green, I would have liked it more, but they kind of look more sagey gray on my eyes, but definitely a palette that's a wee bit repetitive if you ask me. So next is a palette that you got your money's worth. So speaking of Heather Austin, she did a collab palette with Adept Cosmetics. This is discontinued now, but I have hit pan in one, two, three, four shades so far. And I use this all the time, obviously well loved. And yeah, I had to mention it because I saw her video you know, with the palette tag, and I was like, okay, I gotta give my girl some credit there. Uh, let's see, next is a palette that is an amazing deal. So I didn't really know how to take this question, but I thought about it, and I was like, Muse from Cosmic Brushes, because amazing deal. This is luxurious quality for a drugstore price point, in my opinion, so it's affordable. Like, what is affordable? Everyone's affordable is a little different, but this one is amazing quality for a lower price point compared to high end they're amazing they are amazing the mattes are beautiful shimmers are beautiful yeah and you can get so many different looks with this one palette so this in my opinion whenever I skimmed through my collection this one to me was like the best bang for your buck such a good deal in my opinion this is the only one that I own from the brand but I'm so so happy that I do own it it's a very I don't know it blew my mind I did not realize how much. I was going to love it and love the quality. I know it's a hyped up brand for good reason because that quality is amazing. Uh, let's see. And next it is a quad you love and wish was a larger palette. So I only own one quad one quad. It's from Pat McGrath. This is the Venus in Fleur, whatever. Um, please, please don't make this larger because I have pretty much two that look like this, like big pants, like big motherships. We all know Pat McGrath is definitely loving her pinks and gold, kind of an issue right now. So please don't make this larger. I've already got it, but I did want to show y'all that is my only larger quad, not larger quad, my only quad palette, but I did for like funsies for the video. Where did it go? Okay. I do have a five pan from Natasha Denona. This is the star, right? The mini star palette. I know she's got a really large, like a huge one that's very expensive, but I would love to see a midi star palette. Like these beautiful blues with the greens, some dual chromes in here. Are you kidding me? This would make an amazing midi size palette. Like, so I'm gonna have to go with this one. Forget the quad. I do love this, so I will say. Um, let's see. Next is oh, I went away. Okay, show where am I at? Oh, you love the quality of the eyeshadow, but hate the packaging. I didn't even have to think about it. Like, immediately, boom, give me glow. Butterfly Vibes palette. So, quality is exceptional. It's beautiful. Cute little color story. I don't like the plastic packaging at all, and I wish it was magnetic. I don't want to harp on it too much because I've already given my thoughts on it. 
I never reached for it because it looks a little drugstore-esque, like a little bit of makeup revolution, if you will. And it was expensive, like it was a chunk. Okay, so let's see. Next is show your dream palette with singles. So I absolutely love Adept and I love that their palettes are magnetic. So if you get a tool like this, you can rearrange your shadows. So I have several posts and things with me rearranging them and Heather Austin said in her video that she wasn't going to like I don't know show her dream palette you know she's got two collabs but also she kind of made a good point of like protect yourself because brands are always watching so I choose not to answer this I'm not going to answer it because I do have a dream palette in my head and I've already like written down the shade names and like the color choices I would have so I know my dream palette but I don't want to recreate it because it's so special. I want to keep it close to my heart. And just in case, maybe one day, hey, putting it out there, maybe one day I'll have my own collab palette. And I don't want to share it, you know, with like the world without it being a thing. So I'm going to protect it. I thought that was super, like a really unique answer. So I'm going to keep it to myself. But y'all know I love mixing and matching palettes. I definitely have lots of videos, not videos, lots of um, posts on my Instagram with me recreating different palettes. Let's say I don't want to buy a palette and I'll just recreate it, like duping it with my other shades. So the next question is, let's see, a palette you like to combine together so I love mixing and matching all of my palettes like I just I, it's very rare unless I'm testing it like my monthly rankings if I'm testing those palettes I try not to mix them once I have a really good like all my thoughts on them but if it's just me playing with makeup I'm mixing and matching but I will say a palette that I really enjoy mixing with others it's this one right here from Adept this is a seahorse palette and this palette right here is full of beautiful shifty sparkly iridescent pastel shades like they're so pretty and there's so many different textures and this is one where I don't reach for it on its own. This is definitely a companion palette. So I thought this was the perfect palette to mention for that category. Next, let's see. This is a larger palette you wish that was smaller. I will say that the, um, the, these two from Bella Beauté Bar, the Smoky Glam and the Pastel Garden. Yes, I do love the quality. Um, I haven't tested this one yet, but I do love the quality. I just wish like they're huge. So I could definitely see it being okay if they were smaller, but I'm not mad about the large, but I do know that some people have said they wish it was smaller because it's like, boom, it's huge. I kind of like that, but at the same time, it would be nice if they were, you know, smaller. So I did, I saw that question. I immediately thought of those. So I had to mention it there. I'm dropping palettes left and right. Let's see. The next question is an eyeshadow palette that you wish had a matching face palette. So let me get my other basket of palettes. This was so easy. Immediately knew the answer to this. So I love this palette right here. This is the Citrus Punch Palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics. And I literally, like sometimes I won't even be using this on my eyes. I will strictly <laughs> reach into this, like make it an exception, pull this out just to use this for blush and sometimes highlighter. I love this palette. I just, I, this quality is perfect. Like put this in a face palette and you're good to go. Like they blend so amazingly as blush and stuff. If you love like a peachy tone blush and you have this palette, try it out because they're, it's so beautiful. It's so funny that yes, it's an eyeshadow palette, but yet it's also a beautiful blush as well. Let's see. So next is, so these were Kelly's tag questions and this is um, an OG YouTube palette that you still have. This was my first ever high end palette. This is the Naked 3 palette and I did not like the quality at all. You know what? I need to kind of get that brush out. I could probably use that. But yeah, the Naked 3, um, I know a lot of people love Urban Decay. This was the only palette I've ever tried from the brand and I did not like it literally at all. I was like, why am I, why did, why did I just spend 50 something dollars on this? My drugstore palettes are just as fine. So at first I was like very wary and cautious about tiptoeing into high end brands because this was the first one and it was, it wasn't good. So yeah, I didn't understand all the reviews I saw. They were so positive way back when I was like, this palette, there's no pigmentation and it's very like one tone, very monochromatic. So yeah, my first palette, and it was almost my last. I was like, Phew, I don't know about this high-end beauty stuff. I think it's a scam. <laughs> okay, so next is a palette that has survived your declutters. This is from Sub um, ABH, the Subculture Palette. 
beautiful. I don't use it enough. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but it's survived all my declutters. Uh, let's see. Next is a palette you regret buying. I don't want to say regret, like, to the extreme. Y'all know, if, well, you may not. If you're familiar with my channel, I really do a good job of decluttering my collection. I know a lot of people don't like to declutter, but for me personally, I don't have a large space, so I do lots of declutter. So if I regret having a palette, she's she's out of here. Um, but I will say this one from Ace Beauté, the Tropical Vibes palette. There's, like, a little bit of regret in me for purchasing it. The, the quality, like, the formulations, really nice. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this palette other than I simply have other grungy palettes I reach for over this. But yeah, no hate to this palette. Like, I'm sorry. You're beautiful, but I don't love you. I don't use you enough. Um, let's see. And the last question is a palette that deserves more love. Right here. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I paid so much money for this. The color story is beautiful. Quality is perfect. But yet, I never ever reach for this palette I need to I don't know what's wrong with me I need to it's beautiful I don't, it even has a multi chrome in here so that those are all the questions for today's video I thought this was so much fun to film I really do love eyeshadow palettes and uh, definitely let me know down below some of your responses if you do have any and Natasha Denona is launching well I don't know about launch but she's revealing her newest I think she said it was the largest launch yet or something like that today tomorrow I'm filming really late so technically it's today but technically it's tomorrow I don't know anyways if you're a neutral lover you're gonna love it someone sent me a sneak peek that's all I'm saying I can't wait I'm gonna be like take my money okay anyways guys that's going to do it for today's video wherever, wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing great I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys <laughs>